This is hakiki fungus growing on this mahoe. You can chuck them in our soups and boil ups and things like that. We're in a beautiful patch of native bush here. I'm doing a 100 day challenge where I'm only going to be eating what I can hunt and gather myself. So yeah, that's going to be a big video we'll put out when we're finished the 100 days. But yeah, my main goal today is hopefully to shoot a couple of fat wallabies. Yeah, just going to go for a little stalk through the bush here. Lots of cardio vines in here, so challenging stalking conditions, but the animals are here. Alright guys, so there's a little wallaby run coming down here. And we can tell it's wallaby because there's a few of these wallaby prints in the mud here. So that's a classic wallaby back leg mark. And that's their main toe there. And then that's their sort of balancing toe. That one on the outside there. And you can also see the tail. The tail mark here where it's sort of flattened out. Okay, so I just heard a wallaby bouncing around up on the face here and all that vine it's usually how you notice that they're there you can hear them bouncing it's quite a distinctive thudding sound so I'm just going to cruise up there see if we can get some eyes on them Sweet, so we're on the board, we've got some meat. Looks like a decent sized wallaby down there. We had a bit of a steering competition with them for quite a while. Um, yeah, if you've ever hunted wallabies during the daytime in, in bush like this, they are really good at steering competitions, man. And they'll just stare at you for hours if they're behind a tree or behind some thick stuff. Yeah, not a bad sized wallaby. They're a pretty neat little animal really. My favourite part of them is the tail to eat because it's just, um, oh man, it's got heaps of fat on it. Especially on that underside, you can actually see, see how squishy that is. That's just fat, man. That's just like a big fat pad. Seems to be where they store a lot of their fat. Is in that bottom part of their tail. Man, it is good fry it off and slow cook it and that's just superb man it's so good these things are almost like bush mutton you know they're just really fat and, and they almost taste like mutton but just check this out this tail here I mean it's out the gate how much fat sits in the bottom of their tails man look at that and it's pretty easy to um, skin the tail on the wallaby but yeah just amazing the amount of fat that these little guys carry um, that's all the fat that's around the, the kidneys in there just this wallaby on its own would quite easily feed a, a large family for a day so I mean it, it's crazy that the government uh, spending millions of dollars just killing these things with poison and shooting them and leaving them to waste. Um, it doesn't really make sense to me when we've got people who are struggling to pay for food in the supermarkets. We've got all this awesome food running around for free and we want to reduce the numbers. We may as well be making use of them. Alright, let's see if we can find another one. It's springtime, so there's lots of these cardale shoots out.
Oh man, awesome, double whammy. So we've got another two wallabies. That's heaps, plenty of bush mutton there. So um, yeah, I'm pretty hungry. So I think we'll cook up a quick feed of the livers and then, um, oh, and a few of those kidneys too with the fat wrapped around them, that'll be good. And yeah, we'll get a fire going while we break these two down. Put a piece of liver on and we've got these kidneys which are surrounded by fat. I've, purposes, I've purposefully left that fat on just so that it can kind of render down and add flavour to the liver as it cooks. A kidney on there, some more liver. Oh my goodness. It's looking good. Let's use this other stick here to keep it where we want it. And then by the time we're breaking down these wallabies, we'll have a meal ready. Plenty of bush mutton in there. Awesome. Sweet, time for a feed. It's looking pretty good. All right, let's have a taste. We've got some liver and some fat. Mm. The liver is uh, it's very sweet. Really sweet. Yeah, everything about them really reminds me of sheep, like mutton, you know. Anyway, yeah, we'll finish this off and then we'll carry on our merry way. Before we go, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Matt. Um, if you're watching, thanks heaps, because he sent us that awesome suppressor that we've been using today. And um, yeah, uh, unreal. So yeah, the kindness of strangers, it's unreal. What a good bugger. And heaps of you guys have offered us suppressors that you had lying around after that too. So thanks to Matt again for the suppressor. He's got a plumbing business in Picton, I believe. So um, yeah, I'll put the name of it up here. So if you need any plumbing done in Picton, give him a ring. Anyway, thanks heaps for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.